Hey there guys, Neil here back with a quick tip. So for today's review, I wanted to cover an easy way of avoiding having duplicate images saved to your gallery when you share those images and videos for that matter to Instagram. So when you do share an uh, image to Instagram, you're going to get a duplicate image. So this happens when you go into your gallery, you share a, a or you take a or not necessarily when you take a, a picture or image or take picture or video from Instagram itself but when you share something from your gallery you're gonna get a second image uh, saved um, and it's gonna be the, either the resized um, like the original size of the image that you share or the crop version so uh, what you'll do to avoid this because for me it's an annoyance I only want to keep the original because that's the preferred method and I usually take a picture and share that uh, native picture rather than the Instagram one or those are the only ones I really want to keep so what you'll do is you'll go into your settings so or your profile page so something like this you'll touch the top right of your screen so your menu button and go into settings and then you'll scroll down and you'll see two settings uh, one is save original pictures and the other is save videos after posting um, and you see a nice little disclaimer right here at the bottom saying saving videos to your phone uses more storage space. So what you'll do is turn those off and that is it. So now when you do that, when you share an image, it'll say it'll share it to Instagram, but it will not save the second picture to your gallery. So you still only have the original. And for me, um, sometimes I share individually to Facebook and Instagram or Instagram and Twitter. And I post different messages depending on where I'm sharing it to. And now I avoid having duplicate images and knowing which one I saved or shared or anything like that. And I only keep the higher resolution version because usually the one that I'm sharing or my source image is the higher quality image. Um, another way to save a little bit of uh, storage space as well is to change your upload quality from um, normal to basic. So that way you have, a, it's, I don't know exactly how much it saves, but you can save a little bit there as well. And then... Um, on a slightly related um, note, if you um, uh, use the, if you want to use less cellular data, you can switch it to use less data. I'll change it now just because I want to see if it does. But um, I'm not sure how much you save, but it's always nice to use less data when you can, especially if you're on a limited data plan uh, to begin with. So that's really all there is for that. Um, as far as I could tell, it's the same way to do change the setting on Android and iOS. I'm not sure if there's a Windows Phone equivalent and if it's the same thing, but a quick Google search will solve or answer that question. But for me, it's just a pet peeve of mine that I shared to Instagram and now I have a second image and I don't really want the duplicate images there, especially since I'm only backing up the sourced images anyway, said Dropbox and Google Photos. So this avoids that. Um, to save on that whole backup thing with Google Photos and Dropbox, I have those auto I have in the Instagram folder automatically excluded to not backups. So I only have the individual images, but in my gallery I wanna or on my device I wanna use as little space as possible whenever I can. So Avoiding uh, saving the Instagram images and videos to my device makes it that much easier. So that's all there is for that. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, or anything like that, you can always uh, email me at headphonesneal at yahoo.com. And you can find me on Twitter at PatelN01. So that's all there is for this particular quick tip. Thanks for watching and listening. And until next time.